Corners and elbows are among the most common types of connections that you're likely to make when building with the EMT conduit. There's actually a few different ways to do it, and choosing the wrong one could cause you to waste money or just be missing out on a potential easier solution. So commonly, people use the 90 degree connector to make a corner connection because it's designed to be a 90 degree corner or uh, you know, kind of a three-way connection it can also be called. And it has a pipe going into the connector on each side, you know, they're at a 90 degree angle from each other. And then it has one pipe in the middle. And this pipe is crucial for this connection to work properly. And if you're trying to connect three pipes and make a corner, that's how you want to do it. But alternatively, if you're just connecting two connectors or two pipes together, excuse me, you'll want to use the T connector because as you can see, it makes a 90 degree elbow, but it doesn't have that, you know, vertical pipe uh, in it. So you don't have to spend the extra money that you would uh, to get the, the 90 degree connector because you're really only connecting two pipes. And of course, on either one of these connectors, it doesn't have to be in this orientation. It could be, you know, flipped over um, and going, you know, you have a vertical pipe going down or whatever, but just this is the most commonly way we see it used and uh, the rule kind of applies both way. And you also have a couple of other options. One that I think is really cool is bending a corner using a hand bender. We have a tutorial on how to do that, which I'll link down below. And uh, you can actually just, you know, have your build and have this pipe that goes into a 90 degree corner, you can bend it and then you have your elbow or corner connection. And if you don't want to bend the conduit or you just don't want to buy a bender, whatever the reason may be, you can actually buy a pre-bent 90 off the shelf and you can incorporate it into your build. You can either use the coupling that we have for DIY projects or you could use the electrical coupling that isn't as strong, but it does work depending on the specific project. You could just use one of the two couplings to combine the uh, pre-bent 90 off the shelf to your build. And I think that's cool. And like I said, you could also just, of course, bend it using a bender and have the whole thing incorporated into your build. And another option is stacking two T connectors. Now this, you know, has uh, a couple of disadvantages. Obviously you can see the pipe coming out of the top and this pipe here are on different planes, uh, which might be something that you need Maybe you want to have a flat surface that sits up against this T and you want to use this as like a barrier for the surface. That could be cool. It might be the right solution, um, but it can be a disadvantage also if you want these two pipes to be in the same plane as they are with the normal 90 degree connector. So that's something you want to keep in mind, but maybe you don't have 90s on hand or you need to make a quick corner connection. This is a way that you could do it and you could stack two T's uh, and that, that's an option. But just wanted to share that it's a common mistake that I see and uh, just a common question that we get. So just wanted to make this uh, hope we make it helpful. Thanks everybody for watching, subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.